to what the Spirit has to say. Because it's your word that's going to bring us out. It's your word going to set us free. Your word going to heal us. Your word going to provide for us. And I thank you tonight for your word. And Lord God, I ask you to look down the on each saint tonight. Whatever they prayed or desired from you, Lord God, I ask you tonight. That your will is already done for their life. And God, you say you will supply their needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that every one of their needs are met. And God, I thank you that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. And you said no person will come near that dwelling. And I thank you tonight, God, that I come against every enemy, every negative word, every word have been spoken, that it be cast back to the pits of hell from which it came. And I cancel the side meat of the enemy that trying to come against the saints of God in this house. God, yes, God, by my seat, they call the Lord of my seat. Yes, God, on my my shake, call out of my seat, they. God, they did it, y'all say, I say, they did it, did y'all say. God, they did it, y'all say, I see, they did it, y'all say. Oh, God, I thank you for your arm, my my shake, they call the did it, did y'all say. That your hedge is around them, Lord God. Thank you. Yes, God, that the did did y'all say, they call the did did y'all say, they. Yes, God, we thank you for your will being done tonight. And Lord, as we begin to go into the word, God, that their ears will be open, their heart will be open to receive what you have to say. And God, that it will apply to their life. Because God, it is your word that's going to bring us totally delivered. We thank you for your word tonight. God, you say your word go on and will not come back going. And I thank you tonight for the word of God. Yes, Lord. That, yes, that dread us within. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Come on, let's give God a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word tonight. Anybody need me to touch and agree in prayer tonight for anything? Amen. Praise God. Because God is the answer. Amen. I just thank God, amen, that... I'm not looking at the problem, but I'm looking at the problem solved. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm learning. He know the way. He know what's going on. And I Amen. thank God Amen. that he know. Amen. Amen. I thank God that I know I'm getting closer to where God's going to open up the windows, heaven, and pull out. Amen. 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 I got to be, I'm telling you, saints, that y'all be cautious. Amen. Don't walk according to things that you think but seek God first amen. I mean delicate seeking because the enemy will turn what you're thinking in the wrong way amen, amen. and God ready to pull out and I mean I mean ready to pull out thank and you. I thank God I'm very cautious now than ever when Jesus said watch and pray mm -hmm. you need to watch and pray more now than you ever you need to watch and pray because he come to seek to steal and destroy. But Jesus said, I came to give you life and life more abundant. And I thank you, God, for the abundant life in the come flow. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My God, your needs being met. Amen. Amen. I just meant not only your need, your wants and your desires. Amen. Amen. I really thank God for that tonight to know that the circumstances of what's going around or going on now, it let me know that God's word is more near powerful than it was ever before. Because the Bible is fulfilling itself. Amen. 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 All things I'm saying, Lord, let me not be a terror, but let me be a weak. Amen. Amen. Let me be a helper, not a hindrance. Come yes. on, y'all. Amen. Amen. Because we want God to get his glory. Amen. Amen. I thank God for the glory tonight. Amen. I thank God for those that are here tonight. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The topic tonight, let me, I forgot to read the scripture you were standing on. Now I got on so called in prayer. Let me get that. First Peter, the first chapter that, yeah, I'm, I can read it. Y'all don't have to go to it. He said, they let, according to the full knowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, are to obey, obey at the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, the grace unto you, and peace be the multitude. I thank God for what? Peace. Peace among the multitude. No matter who I'm around, peace, peace going to rest with me. 
Amen. Because you know you can get around people that are real disturbed. You find yourself being disturbed. <laughs> so thank God for peace tonight. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But the topic of the night is, is my topic the time the cross over. The cross. Time the cross over. Jesus bared his cross, so he crossed over. So it's time for us to cross over. Cross over. It's time for us to carry our cross. So we can cross over. Amen. The only way can help us cross over is him. Help us to carry our cross. Amen. And I thank God. And I had it for another message when uh, I went to the funeral. And, uh, and I, God gave it to me when I was there. And I, and I said, okay. And I was in low realm of teaching. And he get, brought it back to me to give it tonight. To us, amen, and to say to God that we got to get in a place now that we got to learn that we got to bear our cross to cross oh, over. Yeah. Amen. Not looking at the problem of the circumstance, but we got to take, he said, take up your cross and follow me. Amen. amen. Some people are taking the cross and they're totally so funny and they lay it down or they drop it yeah. or they just don't want to pick it up at all. Amen. 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 But tonight I'm going to show you in the word how Jesus wants to show you how to cross over. over. <laughs> Amen. Because something you're going through you don't understand, but it's your crossing that you Amen. need to cross oh. over. <laughs> something you need to grow how you can tote it and not let it wear you down, but yet carry it on so God can get the glory out of your life by you carrying your cross. Amen. 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 My God. Some people don't want to care. That's true. They That's find true. themselves falling backwards instead of going forward. Think about Jesus when he was carrying his cross. Hallelujah. He did not stop toting it. Amen. No matter how they beat him, he carried his cross. And by him carrying his cross, then it brought me life. Amen. 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 We don't know how much life we have on, on the inside of us. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Thank God for your life. That's why you should value your life. Amen. Thank God. First thing, I'm going to go to Matthew. Let's say here, but I, I, Matthew, the 11th chapter, verse 28. This is what he's saying first to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Matthew, 11th chapter, verse 28. First thing he's going to tell us, he the one going to help you. Amen. First thing he's telling us, come on to me. Ooh, yes, First thing he's telling you to come to me. Yes. So you can't talk, go cross without yes. him. You coming to who? Yes. Coming to him. And people don't come yes. to him. Yes. Matthew 11, chapter, verse 28. He said, come on to me. He the only one can help you bear the cross. Amen. Amen. And in the condition you in, he said, Come out to me, all ye that in labor mm -hmm. and a heavy lady, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. No matter <laughs> the situation that you're going through, or uh, how you feel within a problem or whatever it is, uh, mm -hmm. he said, Come to me if you're heavy lady, if you're burdened, come to me, I will. Give you rest. So he said, I will give you the ability, the strength to help you carry your cross oh, over. Amen. People don't come to him. No, we don't. <coughs> That's why the body of Christ is not in fact because we don't come to him for the clarity to understand how to deal with life here. Amen. Because <coughs> Jesus said, I can't even give you life. And instead of us receiving the light, we see death instead of light. Amen. That's why he said, come on, come to me. That's the first thing you got to tell you, come to me. He's the one going to help you. All right. I'm going to show you. When he told you to come, I want you to go to Luke 23. Yes, ma'am. Luke 23. Where you gonna tell you by crossing over? Luke 23, verse 39 through 43. Luke 
Luke 23. Start at verse 39. Okay, we talking about these two things was on the cross. Beside Jesus, how in the condition they was in. I, I, I want to use these two. They was on the cross just like Jesus. One had compassion, the other was so fault. One didn't want to carry his cross. The other one wanted to carry his cross. The other one didn't cross over. He, the other one did cross over. Mm -hmm. I don't want y'all to make it sin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. These two were there. Hanging there. And said, he said, if thou be. Okay. Come on, baby. Car. I'm going to go ahead of myself. Read that again. 39. Verse 39. And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself. And okay, thou. now, the one questioned Jesus, If you be the Christ, save yeah. yourself. Yeah. Now, that one didn't even want to tow his cross. cross. No. He began to what? Criticize on the cross. Mm -hmm. See, that's what happened yeah. to some of us. We criticize and can our cross. cross. To make it sin. So he criticized the Savior that was on the cross. Sometimes my, my thought is sometimes we miss the kingdom mm. by our criticism. Mm. That's true. <laughs> we miss the kingdom by our criticism. That's why I say you need to watch and pray and seek God because you will miss it. Now, he missed it. <coughs> he missed it. Hallelujah. I'm going to show you. Okay, go to verse 40. But the other answering rebuilt him, saying, Do us not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation. Now, see, the other one caught the revelation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He would tell them, I'm going to put it like it was, man, you should shut your mouth up. You done messed up. Amen. You done messed up. Amen. He saw the glory of God. He saw the kingdom. See, some of y'all is sin and hearing it, but you're not seeing it. So you missing what? The glory of God. But the other answer, see, he, had to, he rebuked the man. Man, you need to shut up. You don't know what you're saying. Amen. See, some people don't know what they're saying. They're talking what? Foolish. He was talking. He was telling, man, you're talking foolish. you missing the very point. Now, you're in the same condition that Jesus is hanging on the cross. But look at this. You going the other way, and I'm going yeah. to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. How some people can miss mm -hmm. the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. and he missed it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> because the circumstances, how I can say, we look at the, we ain't looking at the creator, we looking at what he created. Mm -hmm. We look at the problem and not the, the problem solved. And that's how we miss the kingdom. Is I'm making sense so I can't care my what? Cross over. Hallelujah. And that Lord just said, sometimes we lead to our own understanding, not the understanding of God. That's true. And we miss the kingdom. One man will lead to his own understanding, and the other will lead toward the understanding by the Spirit. Anybody got something about the cross in them? I, I'm gonna say just sometimes when you say we lean to our own understanding, but some things are so plain and straightforward that I mean 
<laughs> okay, something. Something could be leaning straight forward, mm -hmm. and something could be the, that place like that. Something could be where God ready to bring <coughs> you to a, another, another level, level yeah. and you still will miss the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things is straightforward for you to go through it. Right. And you, if you don't go through it, then you miss the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Called trials and tribulation. I know what you're saying. I've been there. I haven't been through all that. But what it did, it pushed me to another level. It pushes you. See how, what say, when uh, Jesus said, vengeance is mine, whatever right, I'll pay. See, the pay is, and you think about it, he said, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I feel no evil. Then he said, I prepare a table in the presence of your enemy. Sometimes something is in your presence of your enemy so God can get the glory out of that what's in your face. Amen. That's true. It's going to make it sin. Think about uh, what say Pharaoh. God ordained Pharaoh to come and get the children and the ears. So sometimes God ordained people. Yes, he does. To come against you. That's true. And you can be right in your face. <laughs> and it's how it ain't so much is what your enemy do, it's how you react to the enemy. Amen. That's how you react to it. So you see how Moses brought the children out? Mm -hmm. How Moses reacted towards Pharaoh. Is what hallelujah he kept the glory of the kingdom and the cross of the kingdom in front of him, although he knew Pharaoh was his enemy. And if you got an enemy, God is your vengeance for your enemy, but it's gonna elevate you to trust the kingdom of God more than you see your enemy because sometimes your enemy is what pushing you to your place. That's right. Amen. Amen. So you can cross over. 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 It's, 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 so it's, uh, did I get your answer, Amy? Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it really to grow you. Mature. Yeah, mature you. See, the kingdom is within you. And it's mature that inside of you. If it don't grow, the kingdom of God cannot be shown. It can't manifest. It can't. Uh, what say show his glory can't show his power sometimes I know I got some enemy I, I know it but they can did never make the glory of God grow in me more that God could be what seen amen, amen. 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 to cross on so he was telling him okay I'm gonna show you on that here let let get, read the next one and Pro we indeed justly forward for we receive the due reward of our deeds. So he said, we do what, what we did. He was saying to the man, we do what we was on this cross. You know we both were robbers and thieves. Now this man didn't deserve what he was getting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he banned what? No. The cross. All right, come on. But this man had done nothing amiss. The man he was talking about, Jesus had done nothing. nothing. See, we got the kingdom on Jesus' behalf. Mm -hmm. Jesus' kingdom was built within him because he cared to what? Mm -hmm. Cross. And when he cared to cross, then he came, he came to give us life and life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. The capability of King of Cross is through him. Mm -hmm. Your capability. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 40, 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. See, he told, now after he done told the man, now he done told Jesus this. Yeah. <laughs> and he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou come into your, thy kingdom. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. y'all see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm. So actually the man said, I know I was a thief. Mm -hmm. I know that. But he had an opportunity to get it right at that moment. That's 
So he ended up, look what verse 5 3, let me show where he ended up. So he told his cross by what? Respecting the kingdom of God. Amen. That's awesome. Okay, look what he said. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. See what he told? Today, once he spoke that word and believed that Jesus is the Lord and Savior, he took up his cross and he crossed over. Oh. <laughs> he crossed over. So he faced who he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he also, he defended Jesus on the cross. And he respected Jesus. So Jesus turned around and said, this day, you with me. So he carried his cross. So he crossed over. over. See the difference? So he received the kingdom. All right. Let's, now, how am I going to receive the kingdom? Let's go to Romans 10, 9, 10th chapter. Nine and ten. Romans 10, okay. verse 9 through 10. Okay. 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 Uh, I read? Yeah. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. So what did the man do? He confessed Jesus on the cross. cross. So he carried his cross. <laughs> When you confess in Jesus, you are carrying your cross. Okay. The Lord Jesus. And and shall believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be saved. See the, the security that you have. When you carry your cross, you have security. Amen. Amen. I'm crossing over. Over. So I, if I'm crossing over, I'm saved. Amen. No matter what the circumstances look like or what it seems like, I'm told my cross. I use that for what's going on with the government. That's a cross care. Amen. How people going to react towards what's going on? Are they going to Come in a place of rebellion or don't believe by faith, but that's a cross. You got to kill them. Cross over. Amen. So I'm confessing. Amen. Come on. For for Oh, she got something to say. You got something to say? That is true because when I went to work this morning, didn't know what I'm not getting paid. I had to go to the bathroom and pray. I had to really pray to get my attitude to change. Yeah. Amen. So you can get that cross. See, and I'm like, ooh, hey, God, feel the Holy Ghost. You have to get yourself together that you be able to tell the cross. This might sound like small, but I did the same thing today when I, um, I know I'm homeless, so I'm looking for a house, and this man let me at his house today. But when I pulled up to the house, I was like, oh my God, like, no, another. Regular house, but then I went inside. I said, "Okay, well, I do need my own house, and I'm not gonna complain. This Amen. minor things can be fixed. So Amen. maybe that's just something I gotta deal with. Yeah, your cross. cross. Take that, and God gonna get you something better. Amen. Amen. Carry your cross. That's why I, 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 I'm trying to get y'all to understand a lot of things that look like it might not be what you think it ought to be, mm -hmm. but if you took the cross. Jesus got it already worked out, but he wanted to see like the man 
did that he was complaining, but the other man was saying, Dog, man, you better shut up. That's the man right there can cross you up. Oh, Amen. Amen. That's a good thing. So you can yo cross. Because God said, I will supply all oh. your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So he already know this was going to come. So he already got your stuff already in order. But if you ain't looking at him, mm -hmm. you will miss mm -hmm. the king. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to take care of my own. Amen. 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 That's why I thank God people can't get over on me because God is looking out for me. Amen. Amen. And especially when God signed me to certain things, I, I, this, I don't, how can I put this? So y'all can understand what I said. I'm carrying the cross of Jesus. Amen. So I'm crossing over. Amen. So if I'm crossing over carrying the Jesus, I'm not believing in the man. I'm believing in the man that sent me to, to assign me to the man. Amen. 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 Nice, I'm Amen. I hope yeah. he signed me to the man, so I'm not looking at yeah. you. He yeah. signed me to you, mm -hmm. but your soul, so I ain't looking at you. I'm looking at the man that signed me to you. Amen. So I'm carried by cross. I understand what you're saying, that uh -huh. you're looking at God, not the person. Uh -huh. But what if it seemed like a dark road that we may have went down before, uh -huh. and we as saints or whatever, should we not say nothing? Because, I mean, I feel like sometimes people just say we don't pray. You know, and it, it vexes me when people just stand up and say, we not praying for you. Uh -huh. Because, like, are we not doing for you? I should say like that because what I do for you, I don't need everybody to know about. You know what I mean? If I did it for you, it's because I did it for you. If you ask me to do something, I'm going to do it. I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not going to go against what you say because I know that you forgot. But I think that a lot of times it just seems like that same role and if I've been down that road, I'm not trying to go back down that yeah. road again. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying, and that's what, okay, I see what you're saying. <coughs> if the road, if that same road coming back at you again, I, 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 I want you to look, because I want you to me as an example. Some roads kept coming back at me. Mm -hmm. The last road came back at me. It matured me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the same road will come back to you again, again, to the place that it won't affect you. What I'm saying, you be able to take offense, although you know you're right. Just like this man here, mm -hmm. see that he said we both in the same boat, mm -hmm. but you know in your heart of what you're doing, you're different than others. See, we got to learn. We all don't do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Some people might not see you. Like, I see you. Other people don't serve God the same way. Amen. The Spirit don't move on people the same way. And this is where we got to learn as Christian how to cross over. Mm -hmm. Not to let things like that affect us. So if it's keep affecting you, that means it, you have to go back to it again. Mm -hmm. Uh, to a play, this is a, what I'm saying, that, that it will have to be the same routine until you get where you can what, cross over. Mm -hmm. Like I use example, I'm going to use example with Ben. Okay. And y'all know how much I done dealt with him, dealt mm -hmm. with him. Now this time, mm -hmm. I done crossed oh, over. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, so Jesus. now I ain't got to deal with this yes. anymore. Mm -hmm. As I'm making sense. Yes, yes, yes. Until I got in a place where I could cross oh, over. Mm -hmm. I care. It don't affect me no more. I don't care how drunk he get. I don't yeah. care what he look like. I don't care what going on. I don't. It don't yeah, affect that. me. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, I, I get what you said. It's not. It's not affecting me because I don't say anything. Yeah. But it just. I don't want us to. 
come across as a unit as like we're not. But we're see, not doing this and, doing that. but and you know, and I'm gonna say this: it ain't how others feel; it's how I feel. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I don't know what you say. Yeah. Amen. So this one, how I feel. Amen. See, that's why. Oh, how can I say? You get a place to cross over. If mm -hmm. I got a relationship with you, Amen. I know how you feel, Amen. And I know what I can. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, you know. So so you can cross over, cause I see what the enemy trying is to trying to do, and I'm trying to keep the body of Christ. And you, because we fit to be blessed. The Amen. joke is a lie. The right? devil is a Amen. lie. Amen. But God is in the midst of this. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to learn something that's being said, something that's being done. Is is not is to not to affect you, me. Mm -hmm. It's not, but it's gonna help me. Amen. All you got to do is trust the Jesus Amen. in me. Amen. All right, we're making sense. Yeah. That's the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I can say that about my oldest daughter at my house. I have to tell them they have to understand the reason why she's at my house. It doesn't affect because I'm probably going through the same vicious cycle. So you got to know how to what? Care the cross. You got to know how to cross oh. over. Mm -hmm. This is where the Lord trying to get us in a place to be able to cross over. 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 Many times we're not crossing over, mm -hmm. but we too in a place of not receiving. God gave me this word and I've been meditating all day about, I'm going to get to it, becoming new. See, it finna become new. Life finna become. See, it ain't come that way yet because you ain't told the what? Cross over. So it's time for a crossing over. But it's becoming that. Amen. Although you ain't cross, it's become the man when he spoke what he said, Jesus said, okay, today you gonna be in paradise. Yeah. So he became new. His life changed when he crossed over. Submitting your, yeah. your will to his will. All right? I hope we'll make it sense. Mm -hmm. So, thank God for the what? Crossing oh, over. Oh, it's time to cross oh, over. All right? Okay, he said, Thou mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead. Thou shall be Saved. So I'm saved. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God inside of you is <coughs> saved. So if, if it's saved, so you can't let me come in and break into your saved. Amen. And I don't because there was time when I would have, you know. Yeah. So I feel like I'm growing. Yeah, yeah. I was gotten different. <laughs> right. But like, it just. Sometimes I feel like it's not decent, it's not in order. Mm -hmm. And it just, you know, I don't want it to be like a thing where it turned into something more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, what is that? You have having an all against your sister and brother in Christ. I don't know what the term is. And but sometimes it just, and yeah. everything. And you see, and that's the time and the place. Of the maturity, and I'm talking about the body. I ain't yeah. talking about the one person. The body, the body, the body, the body having crossed over okay. to maturity. That go for all any denomination, mm -hmm. anybody. The church having crossed over. That's and that's why that's where the enemy is coming. The place is the. Uh, Dividing the, dividing the church Amen. because of the, the maturity of the growth of the body 
having crossed over. over. Because, I mean, it, it's, it, this is what he's giving me is a time for Jesus' harvest to come in. Amen. Amen. And, it's, and he's getting it ready now to come in. But we got to get in a place like he's Amen. saying to be able to cross over. over. And we have the body. I mean the whole body. Mm -hmm. Need to know the tactic of what well, offense. He said offense gonna be. Mm -hmm. Just like the man came up and he he knew what the man was doing. It offended him, but he spoke. But he kept what? His cross and he crossed oh. over. So I, I'm, I'm praying every day, Lord, mm -hmm. I want this house, God ready to use this house. Amen. Amen. I mean, use it mighty. And he's taking a small portion of this house. And what I'm praying, Lord, give me guidance and direction how to handle this house. Because I, I see mm -hmm. where the enemy trying to stop the growth mm -hmm. of this house. Mm -hmm. But we're going to cross over. over. Cross over. And see, I crossed over that with him. Mm -hmm. So now it don't affect me because mm -hmm. I done crossed over. over. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. It got you got to cross oh. over. We miss the kingdom of God and a lot of area. Not that you have have a what say totally mature, but God used certain things to get you in an area where you be more mature <coughs> in the kingdom. Because all y'all got different gifts. Amen. That's true. And you're functioning in different ways. Amen. 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 So your function may be different than my function. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, I got to do a little bit more to you than to get your purpose where I want to cross you over in. So I'm going to send some things at you. That's true. We sure will do that. They can do this. I don't miss this thing. <laughs> I have to whoop on them my son. <laughs> <laughs> To get me to cross over, I might get this one right and get stuck here. See, the man was stuck on the cross. They were in the same position. But one crossed over because he didn't look at it. He said, we both should. He don't have no benefit, but we up here. Because we have a right to be here. So I admit that I ain't quite right yet. Amen. So he had me, I haven't totally crossed over. So he got to do something else to me to cross me over. So the last thing I went through with, with him, <coughs> it crossed me over. over. So I met it yesterday, so it brought me out, Lena. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so it don't affect me like it did over. before. So my kingdom was spread. Amen. Amen. See, your cross is more spread out. Mm -hmm. So that means the purpose that God has for you for your cross and over to carry your cross is getting lighter. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you go back to Sunday when you was demonstrating how God is arising and yeah. extending you to supernatural. Right. Mm -hmm. So it carry you to that place mm -hmm. of your crossing over. Amen. Amen. Okay, verse 10, look what it says. For what? For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Uh -oh. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now you see, for with the heart man believeth unto what? Righteousness. 
the man that was on the cross, he believed that Jesus was who he said he was. So it's unto what? Righteousness. And with the my confession, it made unto salvation. So out of my kingdom that came to fit my salvation. So how important is your salvation if you can your cross? I important your salvation and carrying your cross. The cross over. Just think about the man that was on the cross and he began to say something about Jesus. He wasn't <coughs> concerned about his eternal life. Mm -hmm. See, I got to be more concerned about my eternal life than where I'm going to be at. Because somebody can rob you just like See what I'm saying? Amen. So my salvation means more to me. So I ain't going to let my, let my adversary stop me from towing my cross. So I'm confessing Jesus and my Lord and Savior. I'm confessing him. Is he my director? So if my cross, for me to cross over, is heavier than yours, then I'm going to have to tote my cross. How heavy is it? It can be heavy. A heavy cross. Amen. The cross and over. So my salvation means more, the kingdom means more, and my salvation. I, this is where I want to get to. I, I've been meaning on taking on this all day. Second Corinthians, verse five, chapter five, verse seventeen. This is where I really, I've been meditating on this right here all day. I laid down with it and I got back up with it. Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seventeen. It's showing me this within. We were talking about the kingdom at first. Okay. Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. Okay. Now things finna what? Change. Mm -hmm. You got it? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, in him. He is a new creature. He is a new creature. New. Creature. new. All things are passed away. All things is passed away. Be so, hold, hold a minute. All things are passed away. So if I don't tear my cross, I'm still holding on to what? Oh, so I got to tear my cross to cross oh, over. And look now, okay, now it coming out. Look at verse, go on a little bit more. Behold. Behold, I, pay attention. All mm -hmm. things are become new. Okay, that's where I want you to get right there. He said, Behold, all things are becoming. He said we're new. Mm -hmm. Becoming new. Mm -hmm. Becoming. So I got to what? Carry my cross through this so it'll be it, it done become, but it ain't new yet. Okay. Is that making sense? Amen. <laughs> it hadn't become yet. Because I haven't took on my cross to cross oh. over. So it, ain't, it just becoming. Mm -hmm. It ain't new. Mm -hmm. That's a difference. Yeah. It's becoming new. <laughs> so that means I got a, what say, a process that I got to go through mm -hmm. so it be, before it be new. Mm -hmm. Just like she said that, can't do that? So she picked up a cross. So, 
So she can accept the what? The change. Yeah. See, it's changing. So it's becoming that. It ain't new yet. It's becoming it. Mm -hmm. Becoming. Mm -hmm. I'm becoming it. Mm -hmm. If I'm, that's why the kingdom of God inside of you is growing. But you don't know what the kingdom inside of you is all about. So you becoming to learn how to total cross and know what God is going to use you in the purpose of that cross. Because when Jesus was born, he was a babe. He was, a, he was the savior of the world, but he didn't know that he was who he was until he came a certain age to know he was there to save, to die for the whole top world. Now think of you. What you think? You becoming this. I view myself as that. I never thought I'd be here. Amen. Never did. I never thought I would be in, in Kansas City, Missouri. Mm -hmm. But as my life changed, Married 29 years. Mm -hmm. Never went anywhere. But God had a plan. Mm -hmm. My plan was not God's plan. Mm -hmm. As I got more mature learning by him, then he started dealing with me mm -hmm. about soul and coming. Mm -hmm. I was becoming this. But my becoming wasn't in Alabama. My becoming knew it was here. And then I had to yet learn how to become new in the place where he was purposed me. First thing he said, taught me when I was here, how to start the church. I went through a whole lot. Amen. Told my problems. In the midst of toting the cross, mm -hmm. he told me first, start praying in my house. Mm -hmm. Then he started, he said, the first thing you want you start the church. Mm -hmm. Went from there, he told me I'll uh, get a house. Mm -hmm. See, I told him the cross. I went to cross me what I went through. Amen. Without what? Looking at the problem, but I kept looking at the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I made me how to touch your cross. Mm -hmm. So it become, it was becoming new. So I'm in this area now, so I'm in another area now that is becoming new to me. Mm -hmm. I ain't all in it yet. <laughs> so he teaching me how to become in it. I think that's what's I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I was like a very spoiled child. Like my parents and my brother in law took really good care of me. I mean, I could, was unappreciative. I was rude. I didn't have too much respect. I thought when I said something, it was supposed to happen. But God removed all that from me. My mother, my father, my brother.